Professor. Yes. Very nice to meet you. It has gone a few years since you received the Nobel That's right. Prize, That's 1973. Right. That's right. But I really would like to start off by asking you what made you interested in physics at the very beginning? That's right. Why did you choose that subject? Well, it was that uh, uh, when I was high school, I have an uh, opportunity to that, uh, what kind of field I should go into that uh, suddenly, uh, this is during the war, you know, war is suddenly a uh, death and destruction, you know, Japanese uh, suffered of that uh, uh, when I was the uh, high school and uh, university. At that time, you know, sort of I like to get most of fundamental knowledge, I mean, to that, uh, you know, uh, in that circumstance, and yeah, I want more basic knowledge. In, in the natural science, I think physics is certainly most fundamental. If you know physics, I think I can do many other things. So the uh, sort of during the psychology of the war, you, you sort of you like to know before you die, mm. <laughs> you know, you, you like to Un understand the most fundamental. Did you want to be part of rebuilding Japan and see to that? This is after the w war, mm. after the war, so that I, I enter university 1944 and I graduated university 47, 40, war is ended 45, so that's, uh, so I enter the <laughs> Tokyo Imperial University, just to, sometimes and after the war, when I graduated, just Tokyo University. <laughs> but anyway, so that's, uh, I, after the uh, graduated, the Japan is very bad situation, you know, everything uh, disrupted, and the Japanese industry, business, uh, very poor conditions. I could stay in university to study, but uh, I decided to go to industry. That was but was it better for you then to go into industry than to go stay at the university? That university is that certain industry, ha I had more, and the, the, uh, I, 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 I thought I can contribute to that uh, rebuild to Japanese industry, you, you know, that, that because of Japanese economy or industry so, so, so bad, this is my prime motivation to go into the industry. You made your major discovery in 1957, which was then uh, you were awarded for by, by with the Nobel Prize. Mm -hmm. um, that was at Sony. After that, you moved to the United States. That's right. Um, was that a difficult transition for you to go from Japan to United States, 1957 or 60? What do you mean is difficult? Difficult, you mean to the, uh, very easy because I got many offers from the United States. In that aspect, very easy. I just accept one. But of course, uh, culture different between Japan and the United States. So that makes a uh, slight difficult, you know, way of thinking and how you do many things is that different. So, sort of a cultural shock if you move from Japan to that's the United States. So. But the science is that, uh, you know, more uh, in international enterprise, I mean, global enterprise. So, so as a scientist, I don't think much uh, much uh, problems, more problems of kind of daily life, I mean, different life, even language, English, mm -hmm. you know, Japanese and English is a big difference. That uh, creates some problems, of course. So after 32 years, I more or less I decided to stay in the United States, but I had a call from Japan, so that's, uh, I had the transition from Another cultural shock <laughs> from United States to go back to Japan. 
and the United States I works at the industry. As I mentioned, after graduate my university, I, I entered Japanese industry. I changed from American industry. But I got offer from Japan, I, from call from Japan, I was the, the president of the national university. Mm -hmm. So I had the, this, this uh, uh, private industry, scientist of private in, industry to educator to in this uh, national university. This so many way the cultural shock. I mean, once so that, again, once again, no. to the United States to, uh, from Japan and also uh, uh, industrial researcher to government educator. So you know many cultural. I would like to come back to your move going back to from going from the United States to Japan just mm. in a moment, but mm. just to stay in the United States for a little bit longer. Sure. Um, you were working at IBM, mm -hmm. and what was it there that you found useful working in the industry over those years? You said scientifically, as a scientist, it wasn't so difficult, but mm. in a daily life was a shock. But That's right. as a scientist, what, what was it at IBM? What culture did you find there that was uh, creative for, for a researcher, for mm. a scientist of, of your status? That, that, and the, uh, I joined IBM uh, back 1960, and then after a few years, I was elected IBM Fellow, I've been fellow. I've been fellow is that uh, this is the, I was given sort of freedom, mm -hmm. certainly a moral uh, obligation to the company, but uh, anyway, I can do anything I w wanted. So, the, so, so this is idea I g got to, the, to make a, a man made, sort of a man made quantum quantum structures, so, so this is a super lattice, is one of the man-made quantum structures. I'm the material scientist, and usually you study many materials to property and etc. But, but I got the idea, I like to make a, a create materials. I like to design I like engineered man-made material. They, uh, you, you know, this is a new avenue of material science. You know, we, we like to make man-made materials that doesn't exist in nature. So that's uh, this synthesized crystal, new materials have the new, totally new properties. So. Uh, the, Materials usually God give us to the materials, <laughs> gold, silver. So that God give us creativity, so I can make create so materials which God never given us. To that. So this new materials has many interesting properties. You know, so this is that we started to that the programs. So this is. Uh, you need uh, material science, somebody has to prepare materials, mm -hmm. somebody has to make measurement. And so this is not one month's effort. I organized some group of this, uh, uh, not, not very big group, but uh, uh, some, something like 10 people working. So this is a uh, kind of basic research. I mean, you know, no, not, not uh, not very committed, not very committed. If, if I just may come back to, to when you moved back then from the United States to Japan, mm -hmm. uh, you said it was a culture shock. What was the biggest difficulties at, at that time? And what, was there something that you wanted to bring with you from America that was difficult to implement in Japan? Well, that uh, many feel that the cultural shock, cultural difference between Japan and the United States is the one thing. But the other is that I was in the United States, I'm more researcher. Mm. But in Japan, I'm president of that university, which is more, more educator. So that uh, uh, you, you need more 
uh, the scientist, you need a creative mind. Educator, you need judicious, judicious mind, all right? <laughs> because that uh, government, uh, you know, national university, bureaucrat, <laughs> mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. official. Do you miss that part of the creativeness as a researcher <laughs> when you had to go back and, and be more of an educator? Yeah, I think, so. yeah, I think so. that uh, even well, I missed the certain research. I missed that uh, direct contact to the research activities. Is it also a difference in the hierarchical structure within the research departments? From if you compare be between the United States and, and Japan, are the Japanese system more hierarchical structure, and in which way could that either enhance or or diminish the creativity? United States is a more bottom-up kind of activity, you know, this but uh, research. But Japan generally uh, little top-down to mm. that research, so that that slightly different, but uh, certainly even in Japan now is changing very fast this, uh, to give a more opportunity to young scientists, young people, to be more encouraged, more creative. History, history clearly tells us to that the progress science needs two things. One is individual creativity, the other is the dynamic interaction mm. among scientists. So that, uh, that dynamic interaction is, a, is, a, is a, very active in the United States. So that is one of the progress of United States science, is a dynamic, inter very easy to dynamic interaction, so the more open things. Of course, individual creativity is more fundamentally necessary. Uh, just my last question, yes. Professor, would yeah. be, what is there out there to discover? What is your biggest question mark? If you were, had a wish list, what would you ask somebody, or what would you like to see what is the big discovery yet to be done in physics? Well, it's the, uh, um, we still need to this uh, uh, breakthrough in this, uh, many areas. That, uh, uh, the, I work to that certainly uh, the communication and uh, some computer field. So that's, uh, one breakthrough we can expect the uh, quantum quantum computer and the quantum telecommunications you know the, using to that uh, uh, the uh, principle of the quantum mechanics quantum mechanics already you know the early 20th century so that uh, f formulated the certain quantum mechanics influence many things. But the 21st century, if we like to use of the uh, principle of quantum mechanics. There, this is one principle of the superposition, superposition principle. The, you, you, if you use of principle, you can make a quantum computer, which is a vast improvement of the present computers. And the, uh, if you use to that uh, quantum communications, you can use to that uh, uh, crypto, cryptography, you know, to, you can, the, uh, uh, you cannot decode of that your, uh, your code, you, you, you know, this very safe communication. I, I think that one of this, uh, field, which is this uh, uh, Japanese, actually in Japan, the government, big Japan project of that uh, uh, quantum telecommunications. And uh, I'm sort of uh, organizing of these activities. So we need individual creativity to, to make of this kind of thing. So that's, uh, I think this is uh, one of these, this is, uh, important things in this, uh, you, you, this, this is the communication, so it's very important, everybody, everybody, uh, portable phone, and mm -hmm. everybody's uh, PC, and those, so, 
still we need improvement of those fields. Improvement uh, in, in and foster. Mm. Using quantum mechanics, mm. that's, uh, so this is application of quantum mechanics. Uh, that will be very exciting to see when that yes. is happening. Yes. Thank you very much, Professor, for yes. your time. Okay, very Thank good. Thank you very much.